Hi there again, this is Lewis from Kruger Enterprises, makers of the snag. Today we're going to talk about the key features of the snag and its functionality. We're going to talk about specifically the snag folder. I'm using the blue controller for obvious reasons, because if I use the black one, it would hurt me a lot. And then I won't be back here for quite a while. So let's talk about the knife itself. The handle, of course, is curved. It's got a ring, which is about 1.14 in diameter, with a pointed tip on top. There's the lever that's used for opening uh, by hand or on another individual. There are, as you can see, ridges around the actual ring, above the ring, one third of the way over the outside curve. And there's also ridges on the inside curve of the blade. Now, what is the purpose of all these ridges and why is it made like that? Well, it's fully functional. Um, I created this so that it could be used in a closed position and in your hand. If you want to, they place my hand inside, it fits comfortably. Now, if you look, I'm going to show you on the floor. The camera follows me. If I hit as you can see, I will hit the surface of any object, but my hand, there will be enough space. The blade will not open. Okay, that's one. Two, I can use the opening lever for striking, meat tenderizing, I call it. I can use a tip for the same thing, applying pressure and pain to specific points of the body no matter what I'm using. The actual ridges themselves are very aggressive. Why? Because when I entrap a part of the body, not only do I want a good grip, but if my opponent tries to get out of that grip, they will always leave something behind. Of course, I have to clean this, but again, it will leave something behind. So I'm not just grabbing and holding, I'm grabbing and holding and if they decide to move out of the way, there's going to be some issues later on. Now, the same thing with the open end. Once I open the, uh, the blade itself, as you can see, there is no edge on the controller. There is no point on the controller. But there are, once again, aggressive teeth on the inside of the curve. As I'm holding my, my snag in a ice pick to cow position, the curve itself was made intended to hold and grab. If you had a straight knife, for example, what would happen is that the grip on that part of the body will be lessened because you can always get out. On this hand, just by flicking the wrist slightly, there is more of a grip and more of an entrapment. The teeth, again, secure that that entrapment is in there. And if the opponent tries to leave as they try and remove their body part, they will be raking on the teeth, which once again, you would be collecting some DNA specimens. Now, that is the functionality of the teeth themselves. The point has been radius and rounded so that it doesn't penetrate the body, but it applies pressure. Now, I've demonstrated before that I can actually use three fingers to hold the snag and apply enough pressure that it would hurt. Imagine if you apply the entire hand. Imagine if you apply the entire hand and then body weight. And then go further and imagine if you have to use two hands to apply that pressure if it comes to it. Again, that roundness allows you to strike. And there's no penetration, it's just pain. Pressure by point, pressure by striking, striking again with the pointed area, scraping for pain, scraping for pain. Very ergonomic, fits in the hand very nice. It's very well hidden if you have to. No edge, no point. Pain management, zero tolerance, full control. It can be used in a spear position. You can still grab and entrap, you can still hit, you can still apply pressure, you can still strike, with any other parts, and you can still have control over an individual. 
that's it for today's lesson with the controller. Thank you. Next time we'll work on the fixed polymer blade.